My brothers and sisters, this Mass, which the bishop celebrates with his presbyterate, and at which he consecrates the holy chrism and blesses the other oils, shows forth the communion of our priests with me, their bishop. And I'm grateful for their presence tonight. The chrism is used to anoint the newly baptized. A child is anointed on the crown of his or her head after the priest or deacon says these words, Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin, given you new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and joined you to his people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation so that you may remain as a member of Christ, priest, prophet, and king, unto eternal life. For adults to be baptized, the anointing with chrism is their reception of the sacrament of confirmation where the minister says, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. And of course, chrism is also used to anoint the hands of priests at their ordination. Other anointings with chrism include the dedication of a church or of an altar. The oil of catechumens is used in preparation of catechumens for their baptism. This anointing symbolizes their need for God's help and strength so that undeterred by the bonds of their past life and overcoming the opposition of the devil, they will take the step of professing their faith and hold fast to it unceasingly throughout their lives. A similar anointing is made at the baptism of children, adapting that prayer of anointing to their condition. And finally, the oil of the sick is used to bring comfort and support to those Catholics who begin to be in danger due to sickness, injury, or old age. The priest says to them through this holy anointing, may the Lord in his love and mercy help you with the grace of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord who frees you from sin save you and raise you up. Our priests can celebrate this chrism mass as witnesses and cooperators with me in the consecration of the chrism because they share in the Episcopal office in building up, sanctifying, and governing God's holy people. Tonight, I bless and consecrate these holy oils abundantly in the hope that they will be used abundantly. Every sacramental celebration is an encounter with the risen Lord who through the power of the Holy Spirit grants a fuller measure of sanctifying grace, God's divine life, to those who receive the sacraments with faith. I pray that there will be many children to baptize, to anoint with the oil of catechumens and with the chrism so to adults who desire the gift of Christian faith as well as our brother and sister Christians who seek admission to the full communion of the Catholic Church. What a great joy it would be if the chrism and the oil of catechumens taken back to parishes tonight would need to be replenished during the year ahead, before the next chrism mass. 
because the priests and the deacon and parishioners were on fire with love of neighbor and going out and announcing to family, friends, and others all that the Lord has done in his mercy for them. Bishop John Durfler, the Bishop of Marquette, in his first homily to the people there after he was installed as their bishop, had this as the main theme. Be a friend of Jesus, make a friend, and introduce your friend to Jesus. This is the sequence, the pattern of evangelization that is familiar to all who have taken to heart their baptismal vocation and missionary call. So too with the oil of the sick, we pray that that too may need to be replenished at the parish. Not that we hope that many people are that sick, but that the oil will be used when called for. Is there any more sacred duty except for the administration of viaticum than to accompany and support those who are seriously ill or near death with the anointing of the sick? Priests, I believe, have this formula of anointing memorized due to its regular, even frequent use. If we priests receive a call, we should be willing to go to the hospital or to the nursing home or to a private residence, even on Easter Sunday afternoon. Cardinal Sean O'Malley of Boston had this happy thought that when a priest arrives in heaven, he will be greeted by all of those he anointed with the sacrament of the sick. They will gather in gratitude. And my sincerest gratitude goes out to our priests who respond faithfully to this ministerial imperative. Let me also say a word about the unity of the priesthood and the essence of priestly ministry. I want to tell you about a priest of the Diocese of Cleveland. His name was Father Bob Nuff. He was ordained in 1944, so he's been dead for quite a number of years. He was one of the characters within the presbyterate of Cleveland at an age in a time when there were many colorful characters in the priesthood. Father Nuff stood out. He once tried to flick a cigarette out of his car and it landed in his back seat. <laughs> he sent his associate pastor to the impound lot to get his garage door opener and the associate found a big blob of melted plastic. He once kicked a lobster tail across the floor of a restaurant. And he once got locked out of the rectory without having any clothes on. <laughs> but he did say something that I still remember to this day. He said, the joy of my priesthood has been bringing converts into the church and my priest friends. And I think that's a pretty good summary of the life of a priest, the priestly ministry, and what it means to be a member of the presbyterate. His insight can be a guidepost for our presbyterate, myself included. 
bringing people to know the love of God and rejoicing in good friends. Psalm 133 states how good and how pleasant it is when brothers dwell together as one. It is like precious oil upon the head, running down upon the beard of Aaron. For the Lord has decreed a blessing, life forevermore. And in terms of priestly ministry and life, we have the words of Psalm, when, Psalm 40. In the scroll of the book, it stands written that I should do your will. My God, I delight in your law in the depths of my heart. Priestly fraternity, priestly ministry, priestly friendship, celebrating the sacraments. May God pour out these blessings upon our priests in full measure. Amen.